Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. And a Merry Christmas to everyone out there today. Hope you enjoyed the white Christmas we had this morning. At least the ground was white, maybe not officially, but yeah, the ground was certainly white at your house. And if you live in the Church Valley, most places seeing that white uh, ground. Look at those blue skies throughout the day today. It really turned out to be a nice looking day, but boy, the wind was blowing pretty good in the Church Valley. And at times this morning in the Magic Valley, wind gusts to 62 miles an hour while heavy snow was falling. So it was quite a blizzard going on in the Magic Valley this morning. But as you can see in the Church Valley, lots of clear skies out there. The Village at Meridian uh, hopping again. Uh, at least some folks enjoying their Christmas day. The beautiful Christmas scene going on here right now. Temperature a little colder than it's been after that system coming through, bringing those cooler temperatures in. 33 right now, and that wind still northwest at 15, so that wind chill certainly a factor as it's been around 20 to 25 in the Treasure Valley throughout the day. But the real strong winds have been mostly to the east. 25 in McCall. This picture taken about an hour or two ago, and there was still snow showers going up around Brundage Mountain. The ski report is coming up next. And I've got to tell you, Brundage and like many of the ski resorts have had three feet of snow in the last week. And so skiing is going very, very well. High humidity right now. Winds are lighter, but you can see the wind was coming in off the lake. Just an icy cold wind up in McCall's Payette Lake during the day today. We're in the low to mid 30s right now in the Treasure Valley. It's 25 in McCall, 18 in Stanley. The snow has come to an end in Twin, but that howling wind, which is finally beginning to let up again, was gusting over 60 miles an hour for over an hour or two at least. And then in the 50s, and then it's storm system sliding to the east and heavy snow falling more than six inches in Pocatello today. And it is a snowy Christmas day in extreme eastern Idaho. These are the wind chill factors. Teens and 20s, it feels like 18 in Mountain Home. It feels like 12 degrees in Twin right now. Definitely on the cold side, that blustery northwest wind is letting up, especially in the western valley. Still a little bit windy towards Mountain Home and points to the east, but those winds will settle down tonight. Here's our storm system swirling now over the Wasatch of Utah and in southwestern Wyoming as well. It finally pulls to the east, but still some snows falling. Pomerel Mountain's getting hammered with snow. You folks in the Magic Valley want to do some skiing at Pomerel tomorrow. There'll be plenty of snow here as well. The storm system will continue to slide slowly to the east. We'll get a little more sunshine in the Treasure Valley during the day tomorrow here. But our weather coming in from the north and west, another system rounding this ridge of high pressure, and it'll move on in. And I think we've got a good chance of some snow, especially Saturday night and Sunday morning in the Treasure Valley. In the Central Mountains, we're talking from Friday, actually from Saturday through Monday. And even into the Treasure Valley on Monday morning, we may still have snow showers around, and there will be snow on the ground likely in the Treasure Valley. So the future cast tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, clouds on the increase. By tomorrow afternoon, most of the day, not much snow. Nothing at all in the Treasure Valley. I don't think so anyway, but Valley County will start to get that snow coming on in. Saturday night, here comes a burst of heavier snow favoring Ada County eastward uh, during Saturday night. But even on Sunday, I think another system moves in, and it doesn't show a lot here. But I think during the day Sunday, we'll develop some snow in here as well into Monday morning. So there is a chance for snow on the ground. The computer charts right now is showing about an inch showing up in Boise here by uh, Sunday. But again, it could be more and it could spread a little bit further to the west as well. Upwards of six inches maybe at the mountains. Here comes some Arctic cold. Temperatures will be really plummeting. Treasure Valley forecast only 31 for the high tomorrow. Mostly sunny, a lighter wind, but low temperatures near 20. So brisk, a little bit of a brisk wind, especially east of Boise. It will certainly be colder tomorrow in the west central mountains. Single digits and then 20s, partly cloudy. If you're going skiing, dress warmly. East Central Mountains, 18 in Stanley and 21 in Sun Valley, while the Magic Valley tomorrow hits the 20s with mostly sunny skies. My extended forecast, again, look at these temperatures dropping as we go into the beginning of next week, down into some single digits, and we get some snow a little bit more over the weekend. Roland, just to add to that little coating we had. I can't wait to see the ski report uh, uh, tonight and see uh, just how much you know we yeah. get and how great the conditions are. Yeah, it's amazing. Got some good video too from Tamarack. We'll show you. That's that. what I've been watching online. It's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Scott. All right. Well, we've got to take a break. We'll be back.